guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing so well. Today I wanted to share with you all what is in my travel makeup bag. So if you want to see what I take with me when I'm going on vacation, then definitely keep on watching. If you enjoy this video, if you enjoy videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. I would love to have you back. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get packing. Okay guys, so this is my travel makeup bag. This is from Allie Glines. I love this bag. I've had it for a while now and it's super nice quality. It's really big so it holds a lot of stuff, but I like that it keeps its shape. There are usually two inserts <laughs> that go in here so it's not so jumbled, but I actually took those out because I might be using those for my skincare. So I'm just gonna try to put all my makeup in here. It might look a little bit chaotic, but that's just what we gotta do. Eventually, I would like to get another one of these bags for my toiletries, for my like shampoo, conditioner, face wash, skincare, all that stuff. But for now, this is what we're working with. So actually, all of the stuff I have in here is just like the potential items that I'm gonna be bringing. So I have to pare this down because this is a lot. So I just threw like all my options in and then we'll go through each category and figure out what I wanna keep and which ones I can get rid of. So let me just take everything out of the bag. That's her, nice and empty. This is clean, it's just stained. No matter how much I wipe it, it just, it doesn't really get cleaner than that. But you can see a lot of good deep space in there to be filled. All right, so I always like to have a lash glue. You know, you just never know. Another essential is my lash curler. This one's from Shuemura. Shuemura, sorry, I'm probably not saying that right. And then I always have my lip balm. I either have the Aquaphor Lip Repair or my Laneige Sleepy Mask. For mascara, I'm gonna take these two. My Maybelline Sky High in Waterproof, the black one. I am gonna be at the lake, so I don't know if I'm really gonna be wearing mascara all that much. Some days I just skip it completely because honestly I'm really lazy and I just don't like removing it. But if I do wanna wear mascara, I want something that's not gonna like smudge or smear if I sweat or if I get wet. So I'm gonna take this one and this is my favorite. One of my favorite mascaras because it holds a curl really nicely. It separates my lashes. It gives volume and a lot of length. So this is a necessity. And then I also wanted to bring my Milani Highly Rated Mascara. This mascara is good. I'm still testing it out. It's pretty new to my collection. It's a very, very wet formula. So you have to be very careful and wipe off the brush before you go in or else you will get way too much product. It has a tendency to clump your lashes together in a sort of unflattering way, but there have been times when I've used that it has looked really, really good. It gives a lot of volume and length for a tubing mascara. It can build up on itself really well. And I just love how easy it is to remove. It just comes off with warm water and little tiny tubes. So it's just so fun to remove and really easy. So I like it for that purpose and that reason. So I'm gonna bring this too. When it comes to primer, the only one that I'm gonna bring is my Benefit Professional Primer. This is just a, it's like the OG silicone -y primer, but it really smooths out your skin. And I personally suffer from larger pores in the center of my face. And I just love the look of a smoothed T-zone. So I really do enjoy this. This is the travel size. Actually, is this the full size? I think this might be the full size. I don't know why I thought it was the travel size, but I'm gonna bring this and then another product that I use as my primer, primer is the e.l.f. Woe Glow SPF because it's very, very glowy. So it's sort of like a glowy primer, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put that in my skincare bag because it's an SPF. I've got a lot of options here for foundation and I definitely don't need to bring all four of these. Ugh. I'm so torn. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation is my current favorite. It's so thin and lightweight, but it gives good medium coverage. It's sort of serum-like in texture, so it just feels ultra lightweight, but it wears amazingly on the skin. This is one of my best wearing foundations. It doesn't settle into lines. It doesn't separate or look funny by the end of the day. It dries down so it's super long wearing. I had a fear that this might be too light for me, but looking at it now, I feel like it can still work because even if it's a tad bit light, I can go in with bronzer. So I think I will bring this one just because I know that I love it and it's never steered me wrong. So 
we'll bring her. It sort of sucks because the packaging of this one is glass, so it's a little bit heavier than I would like and it could potentially break, but I'm not gonna be like jumbling around my bags on an airplane or anything like that. We're just driving a couple hours, so I think it should be fine. So fingers crossed, nothing bad happens, but I have to bring it because it's just so good. I will be sad without it, I think. I think I do wanna bring one more foundation option just to have some choices. So I pulled this serum foundation from Neutrogena. This is one of my favorite foundations as well. I have multiple shades in this. It comes in this little dropper style packaging, but the dropper is really nice and it does work. And this one is in the shade Medium 01. This is probably the deepest foundation I have in my collection, which is why I pulled it, not only because I love the formula, but because the shade, oops, let me move these out of the way. This is one of the deepest foundations I have in my collection, which is why I pulled it. I love the formula, but I also, you know, just in case I get tan or anything, I thought it would be good to have this to wear or to mix in with my other foundations to deepen them up. I love this. It's so lightweight, so natural on the skin. It's practically undetectable. It's really great for that everyday no makeup makeup look, which when I'm on vacation, I'm probably not going to be doing like full glam unless I'm having fun playing with my nieces and we're like having girl time and really doing makeovers. But for like an everyday thing, I'm probably going to be going way more natural. So this might be a really great option. Mm, I don't know. I'll put that one to the side. I also pulled my Veil Sunset Skin Foundation. This one is in the shade light 2n has a little twist cap which is really nice and it is plastic which is convenient for traveling this one as you can see is much thicker than the other foundation it's not as serum like as the neutrogena or the nars it's more of that moussey te texture but it dries down to more of a satin matte finish and it's very long wearing it's one of my favorite foundations as well but on my hand right now it's looking a little bit light I don't know, it's drying down darker. The reason why I was thinking about bringing this one is because this one does dry down the most more of that matte finish, so I thought it could be the most long wearing. It is really long wearing, and again, it's very versatile. You can sheer it out, and it looks really natural on the skin, and very undetectable, and it is pretty smoothing. So I do really enjoy this one. I feel like it's looking a little bit light on my skin right now. So let me pull that one to the side. The last one that I have here is this Lift and Luminate Foundation from number seven. This is in the shade, actually, I don't know what the shade is. It doesn't even say it on here, does it? I'm not sure. Oh, Warm Ivory. It's got glass packaging, which is not the best really for travel, and it's got a pump, but I like the tone of this one. It matches my skin like perfectly at the moment. This one is newer to my collection, honestly. I haven't used it that much but the couple times that i have used it i have liked it it feels very lightweight almost like a gel like texture it says it's a serum foundation it is serumy but it's not super super liquidy and you can see it does have more of like a semi radiant finish but it's not oily or greasy feeling I'm wearing it today and I do really like how it looks. And because it's such a perfect match for my skin right now, I think I am actually gonna bring this one. So I think I'll bring these two. They're both glass, which stinks, but I don't know. This is just what my gut's telling me. So we're gonna listen to her. For concealer, I know I'm definitely bringing my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serums. These are just really great for every day. And I also have multiple shades in these. So they're really great to like mix in with your foundation to adjust the color. You can make it a little bit lighter. You can make it a little bit deeper. So I like bringing multiple shades of these. And also, usually when I go on vacation, my nieces and even my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law, we all like to have girl time and do makeovers and just have fun. So just in case I want to do one of their makeup, you know, I can have some options to match their skin tone. This one comes with a pump. I have the shade light, which is more of a neutral light color. And then I'm also going to bring the shade beige, which kind of matches my skin tone perfectly right now. So I can mix those two. And then this one is sort of a an unnecessary bring. Like, I'm totally fine with just the NYX ones, but I have been loving the High Glam Concealer from Natasha Denona. This is amazing. I've only used this maybe two or three times, but every time I use it, it looks stunning. It gives amazing coverage. It's hydrating, but not greasy or oily. It smooths out the under eyes. 
it's really, really, really good. The shade is a tiny bit light for me at the moment, but I've been liking it for brightening the center of my face and under my eyes. There it is right there. You can see it's a bit lighter and more yellowy than the other concealers, but I think I'm going to bring it anyway just because it brings me so much joy and I've just been loving it. So this is like an not very practical choice, but you know, I'm a makeup lover, so I'm just going to bring it anyway because why not? I'm on vacation and I just want to. So these are my powder options. Obviously, again, I don't need four powders, but these are like all of my current favorite powders and I love them all for different reasons. And I'm just super torn because the Pat McGrath Lab Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder is one of my holy grails. Like it's amazing, it's expensive, but I feel like it's worth it because if you have very dry skin and powder just doesn't really work for you, it's hard to focus on this because it's so bright. This is just amazing. It's so thin. When I first felt the texture of it, I thought I wasn't going to like it because it's sort of chalky looking, but there's something about this that smooths your skin without looking or feeling heavy. It's not a cakey powder and it just looks so seamless on the skin. It never looks drying. It never feels tightening. It's amazing, but it is more of that baked formula and I just don't want it to break. I would be devastated. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't bring it. It's just because I'm nervous that it would break. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder is really great for hot weather because it's very mattifying, but it's not drying. It's more of a, it feels thicker and more creamy than the Pat McGrath, but again, it's not heavy or chalky on the skin. Ooh, it's so nice and creamy. I do really love this powder as well. And it gives just a tiny bit more coverage. This one's in the shade Light. I also love my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. This is the only loose powder that I chose because it's just the best loose powder I have in my collection. It has more of that like thin, ultra finely milled texture. And the thing that I love about this is that it has a very slight radiance to it. It's not glittery or sparkly on the skin, but it sets your makeup without making it look like a flat matte, which I really enjoy. So I might bring this one just because it's my only loose powder option and I think it would be good to have one loose powder and then one pressed powder. So I'll put the e.l.f. one to the side. And then the last pressed powder option I have is my Moira Set and Correct Finishing Powder. I just talked about this in my last underrated products from the drugstore video. This is amazing. It is very similar to the Pat McGrath. A little bit less thin, I would say, but it's very smoothing, very smoothing, very seamless on the under eyes, not drying at all. And you get these different tones. It's not ultra, ultra pigmented, so you don't have to be scared of the colors. It just sets your makeup really nicely and it doesn't look or feel heavy on the skin. These are all amazing and <laughs> it's so hard to pick. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to take my Moira just because it's really, really good. It's more of a translucent shade and I, it just is a safer option for my Pat McGrath. I feel like these two are very comparable. I like the Pat McGrath slightly better, but I don't want to risk breaking it. I love the NYX one, but this one has a bit of a tint, as like I said earlier. So I feel like a translucent powder is just always a good staple to have. So I'll bring my Moira and the e.l.f. and I feel like that will be just fine. I do want to bring one color corrector. This is the camo color corrector from e.l.f. in the green shade. They have a couple different options. I just like to have a green color corrector in case I'm breaking out, if I get sunburn, any sort of like redness on my face. This will just neutralize it perfectly. I like this too because it has a very smoothing texture and it doesn't really disrupt the makeup underneath of it. It just kind of like, again, neutralizes that redness and almost smooths out any area that you put it on. It's really beautiful. I love this product, so I'm definitely going to bring this as well. For highlight, I only grabbed one because I feel like this is probably my favorite highlighter in my collection, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Oh, so gorgeous. It's natural, but still impactful. It just looks amazing on the skin and it looks good in natural like sunlight. So if I'm on a boat, if I'm outside, it's not going to look like I have a bunch of glitter on my face. It's so smooth, but it's a powder, so it's gonna be a little bit more long wearing than a liquid or cream option. So can't go wrong, Essence Pure Nude for the win. Okay, I have three bronzer options. I don't need to bring three, but I 
do want to at least bring two. I have my L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It Bronzer. This is a powder bronzer, but it has a bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you can tell in the pan. It has a bit of a sheen to it, so it looks really glowy and natural on the skin. It's a very smooth, creamy powder, one of my favorites, and you can see there the luminosity that it has, but it's not glittery at all. I like this one too because it's very subtle. The tone of it is very subtle on my skin tone. It's got a bit of warmth to it, but it's not orangey. It doesn't ever look like too much on my skin. So I think I am going to bring this one because the other two options I have are more natural matte. So I do want to have a glowy bronzer option. I like that this one is a powder, so it's going to be a bit more long wearing but it still is gonna look super natural with that luminosity. So I'm gonna pack this one. Yes, the packaging is broken, but she's fine. We still love her anyway. Ugh, I might need to put it in like a bag though, just in case it flies open. So I pulled my ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer. This one is in the shade Get Sandy. I love this one because it's that cream to powder Super Shock formula. It it's just a really great tone for me. It's like that neutrally bronze and it's very natural on the skin. Honestly, I feel like right now with my tan, it might be just a little bit too natural. Like it's barely showing up. I do love the naturalness about this though because I can tend to be a bit heavy handed with bronzer. So I like that this one sort of prevents me from being heavy handed. But I feel like with my tan, it's just a little bit too light right now. So we'll leave her home and I think we'll bring this one instead. The Skinny Dip. Well, no, it's the Pressed Bronzer from Jaclyn Cosmetics in the shade Skinny Dip. The packaging of this one is just so gorgeous. It is a powder bronzer, very smooth, very creamy, very pigmented, easy to blend. I like the tone of this one because on my skin, it gives me that like sunburnt sort of a look. It's very warm, but it pulls a little bit more red terracotta on my skin, which again, I feel like is nice for that sunburnt effect. And it's more of a matte formula, so I think these two will be great options because I have different finishes and different tones. So I have a bit of versatility here. So I'm happy with these bronzers. I don't think I'm gonna bring a cream or a liquid bronzer actually, just because I feel like powder bronzers, again, are a little bit more long wearing and just a little bit easier and quicker to apply. And again, I don't wanna be spending too, too much time doing my makeup, probably on an everyday basis, just because I'm gonna be trying to, you know, enjoy the scenery, relax, swim, spend time with family and friends. So just something quick that I can use to define my features, bronze up the skin, will get the job done and will make me just feel a little bit more put together without requiring too much effort. So if you're like me, and you're obsessed with blush, then you know the struggle when trying to pack blush. It's so hard to narrow it down because I just have so many that I love that are favorites. Oh wait, where's my other one? Hold on a second, I'm missing one. Okay, there she is. We didn't wanna leave her out. I had this one in my purse because I'm wearing this one today and I just wanted to have it in there in case I wanted to touch up. But yeah, these are all the options we have. If you're like me and you love blush, then, you know, blush is the one category that I can tend to overpack in because I just love them all so much. So, I think <laughs> I think I actually do want to bring all three of my J-Cat blush mellows. I talked about these again in my most recent video. I have three shades, Sweet and Chic, Thank You Very Much, and 2D Fluffy. So, a pink one a more like bronzy berry tone, a little bit of rosiness to that, and then a bright coral. So I love all of these tones. They cover pretty much all of the bases that I need. I like this one for that sunburnt, sunkissed look because it has a bit of that berry, almost reddish undertone. I love these because they have that super shock, bouncy, cream to powder texture. They apply well over powders. They wear a really long time because they dry down to more of that powdery finish. And they're just really easy and fun to apply. So I think I'm gonna pack all three of these. A similar product is this Juicy Ping Jelly Blusher. 
that I got off of Yes Style or Amazon. I can't remember. It's available both places. This one is in the shade VL01, I believe. It's from Apu. Apu. This is like that gorgeous, cool toned pink. It looks very natural and healthy and youthful on the skin. It's a little bit light for my skin right now. And I do have this pink option from JCat, but this one, as you can see, is much brighter. Hmm. Yeah, I just feel like with my tan skin, the JCat one is showing up a bit better. So I'll bring this one, but this one is one of my favorite blushes of all time. It just works a little bit better when I'm a bit more fair, but I love the formula. I love the color of this. If you have super fair skin and you want that baby doll pink blush, definitely recommend. Such a good hidden gem. Another one of my favorite pinky blushes, this one is from Hard Candy. This is the Face Off Liquid Blush. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. This is in the shade Born Yesterday. It's a liquid blush, but it's not sticky or greasy on the skin. It's not shimmery, but it is more luminous than the J Cat or the Jelly Blusher. It just looks super healthy and natural on the skin. And I love this pink tone. It's that perfect everyday, more of a neutral pink, I would say. It's not as cool toned as something like the Dior blush. It's very natural, soft, easy to blend, very buildable. Oh, I don't know. I want to bring this one, but I feel like I already have a pink option. I'll set that one to the side. I don't know yet. I also have this satin matte blush from LYS. Oh wait, no, what is this called? Yeah, Satin Matte Cream Blush Higher Standard in the shade Inspire. Ooh, beautiful orangey red. This is perfect for that more sunburnt look as well. Ultra pigmented, ultra long wearing. One of the most long wearing cream blushes in my collection. I feel like these are really underrated as well. Ugh, I feel like I have to bring this because it's just perfect. Like the perfect summer blush, so. I'm gonna put this one in my bag. And it is slightly different from the Thank You Very Much. Oh, actually, <laughs> they look super similar, so watch next to each other. Uh, I guess I don't need both. I swear, it's like choosing between children. Not really, but you know, I'm being dramatic, but it is tough. Hmm, I don't know, they're so similar, so I guess I don't need both. I think I'll go with the LYS, just because this one's newer. And this one's a bit older and I want to get some more use out of it before it goes off because I don't want it to go to waste. It's such a beautiful formula and it's so gorgeous. So I'm gonna bring LYS and I'll leave my Blush Mallow J Cat home. But if you're on a budget and you like the tone of this LYS blush, I mean, these are very similar. So maybe check out the Thank You Very Much from J Cat. The finishes are slightly different. J Cat's more matte. This one is more of a satin matte, but they're both super long wearing and easy to blend and stuff. I think I am gonna leave my hard candy blush home just because I already have the J Cat and I just feel like this one is a bit quicker to apply. And I don't need two pink blushes because honestly, I'm probably gonna be doing more of a corally or sunburnt look on an everyday basis because I'm gonna be outside more and I just feel like that looks a bit more natural. So we'll leave her home, but you are still loved. Just save it for a later date. But I think I do actually wanna bring at least one powder blush because the other ones that I have are creams. This is the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. This is a newer release from Essence and I have a couple shades, but this one is my favorite, I think. It's in the shade Pretty Peach. It's a gorgeous baked peachy blush. It has a pretty high luminosity to it, as you can see. So it's just great because it's kind of like a blush and highlighter all in one. This one doesn't have super chunky glitter specks in it. It's giving Milani Luminoso without the glitter. So pretty on the skin. Love this one. Not all the shades in this are made equally. Some of them are more glittery, which I'm not a fan of. Some of them are not as pigmented. It's sort of an inconsistent formula between shades, I would say, but this one in Pretty Peach is gorgeous. It's not glittery. It's luminous and it's just perfect for that peachy toned summery blush. So I'm going to bring this one too. So we're bringing four blushes, which is a little excessive, but I'm a makeup lover and I love blush. So 
you know, I'm happy with these options. I don't want to be limited. I want to be able to have fun and really enjoy, you know, the process of doing my makeup. So I'll bring these. So when it comes to eyeshadow, I'm going to bring two options, one neutral and one colorful. If it was just me, I would just bring my neutral palette, but because my nieces are going to be there and they're a little bit younger and they like to play with color a bit more and, you know, we can be a little bit more creative with our makeovers, I wanted to have some fun options. So this is my Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette and as you can see, it is a rainbow palette with just gorgeous Skittle pastel shades, which are just so much fun. And I feel like they all really enjoy having these options. And then I think I wanted to bring my About Face Fractal Glitter Eye Paint in the shade Tin Pan Alley, which is just a gorgeous glitter topper. And I was thinking that any of these shades topped with this glitter is going to be so fun and gorgeous and perfect for them. They love color. They love sparkle. So it just the perfect combo. I want to bring this Always Naked palette from Wet n Wild. This is an amazing palette from the drugstore. The mattes are super blendable, very pigmented, very creamy. I like all the different tones. You've got some more cool tones and then a couple of warm tones like this mustardy brown. The shimmers are really nice too. They're not the most reflective, but, they're give more, but they give more of that satiny finish, which I think is perfect for just an everyday, you know, simple eyeshadow look. I also like that this palette has a lot of range. It has a really, really deep brown and a nice cream bone shade. So you get a wide variety. And again, it has a lot of different tones. So this is a really great palette and it has pretty much everything I could need for my basic eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna bring that. Other eye extras, I wanna bring some lashes. I don't think I'll probably be wearing lashes, but again, just in case, you never know. These are my current favorite, the Kiss So Wispy number 11s. Just a perfect fluttery lash. They're not too dramatic. I like to cut them in half for a more natural look and just stick them to the outer corner of my lashes to give that lifted appearance. So I'm gonna bring these because again, I feel like it's always good just to have, you know, you never know, just in case. I also am gonna bring my NYX glitter glue. I always like to have this. This is just something that always lives in my makeup bag. A sharpener is also a necessity. So I'm gonna bring this. And then my MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pod. I use this to prep my eyelids before eyeshadow. It's more of a fleshy toned matte cream shadow. It dries down, it covers up discoloration, and it's really easy to blend on top of it. So I'm gonna bring this as well. For eyeliners, I'm gonna bring my three Epic Smoke Liners from NYX. These are one of my favorite eyeliner formulas. They have a bit of an angled thicker tip than typical eyeliners. The reason why I love these is because they're ultra creamy and so easy to blend. I love using these as a base for pretty much any sort of eyeshadow look because they just help to really contour the eye, shape out the eye, and intensify any powder that you place on top of it. And they're just one of the creamiest, easiest to blend liners I've ever tried. So love these. I have three shades, Nude Haze, which is this neutral brown, Mauve Grit, Oh, just broke off a piece of it. Gotta be careful because they are very soft. This one is a very cool toned, mauve almost gray color. And you use this little paddle to blend, or you can use any eyeliner brush that you want. And then I also have this white shade and that's called White Smoke. You can use these on the waterline as well to brighten up the eyes if you like. So I'm gonna bring all three of these. I'm also going to bring a black and a brown pencil liner. The brown one is from Alme. This is their all day eyeliner pencil. Just a nice deep neutral brown. And then this one is a liner from L'Oreal in Noir Cashmere, which is just a black shade. So, you know, you always need to have a good pencil black and brown eyeliner. Then I'm also going to bring my one size point made eyeliner in the shade Busty Brown. This is a felt tip eyeliner, but I love how easy this is to use. It's a super long tip and it just makes making your wing so easy. And I love the shade of this one because it's a very soft brown. So it's perfect for just an everyday easy wing. Love that. And then I wanna bring my 
Longwear Gel Eyeliner from Bobbi Brown. This one is in the shade, I think this is their like, it's not the black one, is this brown? I don't know, it's like the black brown. It's not the deepest one, but again, it's just sort of a staple in my collection. I always like to have it in my bag. For setting sprays, I pulled two options. I have my Milani Make It Last and my Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Setting Spray. Originally, I was just gonna bring my Milani because this is one of my favorite long-lasting, long-wearing setting sprays, but there's not that much in here. So I think, I think I will bring my Makeup Revolution one. This one's good too. It's just a little bit more big and bulky, so. And I do like the Milani just a little bit better, but this one works, so. We'll bring her. For lips, I'm gonna bring two of my Maybelline Vinyl Superstay inks. These are my favorite lip formula from the drugstore. They're so long wearing, very pigmented, but not drying at all on the lips. They just wear so beautifully. They never give you like that butthole, crunchy, weird lip look. So love these. They are just the tiniest bit sticky, tacky. So if you don't like that, you might not like these, but they don't bother me. It's not like your lips are like super sticking together. My favorite shade is peachy, which is just a really nice peachy pink color. Perfect for every day. And then I also really love this shade golden, which is more warm. I've also been really loving this Romand Juicy Lasting Tint in the shade 23 Nucadamia. This is just the most gorgeous brownie nude. Ooh, this is a really interesting formula. It sort of has a gel-like texture, but it stains the lips. And after a while, that glossy finish will wear off, but it'll leave behind that color. It's almost cooling when you first apply it, so it feels really comfortable and nourishing on the lips. And I do love the glossy finish that it gives. Such an interesting formula. I don't have anything else in my collection quite like this. I have a few shades of these because I love them, but this one is my favorite. It's in Nucadamia again, so I'm gonna bring this one as well. I do wanna have one pink option for the lips, so I'm gonna bring my Ulta Beauty Weightless Water Stain. I like this because it is super, super natural, and it's not like a fuchsia pink. It makes your lips look more pink, but just like in the most subtle, way and because it's a stain it doesn't really look like you have product on at all and it's going to wear a really long time so i'm going to pack this one too here are all the lip options as you can see mostly neutrals some peachy tones a brown some pinks but everything that i'm packing is very long wearing but still comfortable these are all comfortable long wearing formulas which is my preferred type of lip product I don't really like having to constantly reapply my lip products throughout the day, especially if I'm like going to be out and about on vacation, you know, I don't want to be worrying about it, but I do want to have some color. So I think these would be perfect for, for my little vacation. All right, I got to hurry up because my camera is about to die. I'm going to bring three lip liners, Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, and then my two matte fix lip pencils from about face these are like my favorite lip formula because they're super creamy but very long wearing this one's in clockwork which is more of a yellowy warm tone brown and then this one is in cradled which is more of a mauvey brown so i'm gonna bring all three of these and i think that should do it for lips so let's go ahead and reload this up Again, so I know it's not super organized, but this is what we're working with. I feel happy with this collection. I think it's not too much, but it's just enough. I'll throw some makeup wipes in here as well, or maybe I'll put them with my skincare stuff. I don't really know yet. But yeah, I feel happy with this. And there we go, ready to go on vacation. So yeah, guys, that is what I am packing in my little travel makeup kit for my week vacation. Let me know down below what are some products that you have to bring with you when you go on a trip. I would love to hear it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel. It really means so much to me and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.